What's going on guys? Today I'll be doing a review of the Santa Bull Core Series Boxing Gloves. So stay tuned. Uber up the styles like miles and shit. Like 60s funky worms with waves and perms. Just sending junky bits. Alright guys, so I got the Santa Bull Core Series Boxing Gloves. These are Santa Bull's, mm, I would say mid-tier glove. They have the Essentials, which are their really super entry level gloves. And uh, they also have the Gold Strikes, which I haven't tried yet, which are... I think are 150 bucks and those are more of a, their higher end boxing gloves although they do I believe still use a synthetic material which I'm not a big fan of for 150 bucks but I haven't tried them yet so I won't make I won't pass judgment on that but Santa Bull is kind of a <clears throat> an entry-level brand they make you know equipment that's more budget-minded which is totally cool you know you don't have people that want to invest a lot of money in gloves they don't want to spend two three hundred bucks on a pair of boxing gloves so to each their own but here are these uh, core gloves. You can see I got mine in the black and red, 16 ounce. It does use this uh, faux leather material, similar to some of the other gloves I've used in the past. I'm not the biggest fan of this because I've used synthetic material like this before. It has kind of a vinyl, rubbery feel to it. And with, with the amount of sweating that you do, I noticed that a lot of time this, this material starts to crack pretty easily. Um, if you live in areas that are really hot during the summer, like here in Phoenix, that makes it even worse because the heat together with your sweat and the salt in your sweat really takes a um, you know gives these this synthetic material a bit you know a, a pretty good beating and unlike real leather you can't really condition this synthetic material because real leather is like skin right so it, it can be conditioned and absorbs the, the moisture where this all you can really do is wipe it off and just cross your fingers so you can see here it does have this tapered velcro strap the intention of that is to kind of give you a little bit of extra support up higher on your wrist. You do have that ventilated mesh palm right there. Grip bar and attached thumb that's made out of nylon. Um, here is just kind of the design of the glove. You do have a uh, three inch Velcro strap on the back right here. Um, and then you have kind of this EVA foam on the back wrist on the hinge point right here. And that's just again to give you a little extra support on your wrist. Now these are 16 ounces, so let's see how much they weigh. And before I show you the weight, this is the actual carrying case that it comes with. So it comes with this um, mesh bag with a drawstring attachment at the top and a little uh, carrying carrying strap. So that's kind of cool, cool little thing that they include with these gloves. So if you want to put your gloves in here to let them air out and take the gym, you can do so. And let's do the right glove first. So these are, let me make sure it's not leaning against the other glove. These glo gloves are 15 and a half ounces. So that one is 15.1. So about a half to an ounce off, not bad, especially for some entry level gloves to be almost on point. And mind you, these are actually gel infused gloves as well. So there's a, a form of gel padding that's integrated into this padding that we'll go over in the review. So onto the review. Hey, what's up guys, Carlo here. And today I'll be doing a review of the Santa Bull Core Series Boxing Gloves. I got mine in 16 ounce, the black and red color scheme. You can also get this in kind of a powder blue and white, as well as an all white with red color scheme. Sizing wise, you can get these on anywhere from 10 to 16 ounces. They only come in a Velcro closure. Uh, currently do not have these in a lace up. Now Santa Bull has been around for a few years now. Um, they specialize in making all kinds of different boxing and MMA equipment. They do have boxing gloves, lace up, gold strike gloves. They also have MMA style open handed, open fingered gloves um, and other kinds of equipment. So um, they specialize in all of that as well as they offer their products both through their website and through Amazon. Um, pricing wise, there's a little bit of a variation just depending on where you decide to get your gear from. They also sponsor some pro athletes like My Michael Bisping, Mike Lee and a few others. Um, I believe they also have uh, T.J. Dillashaw, who's part of the, the uh, Santa Bull roster in terms of um, uh, fighters that are sponsored by Santa Bull. So, um, as you can see here, design-wise, this glove is pretty fancy looking. It does have this black and red. Um, it is a synthetic leather. So, the material on here, when you look at it, reminds me of some of the other entry-level um, synthetic gloves where it feels kind of like rubber and vinyl combined. And like I said earlier, I'm not a huge fan of this type of material, especially here in, in Phoenix where it gets really hot and a lot, you know, you sweat a lot and especially during your training, you, regardless of where you live, when you're training, you're gonna be sweating your ass off and a lot of times the sweat gets on this type of material and I've had synthetic material like this 
just not that bit last very long because that the sweat and all the oils from your body start to eat away at this and it starts to dry out and crack. And unlike leather, you can't really condition this type of material. It's synthetic, so it's not, it doesn't breathe. It's not an actual skin like leather is from a cow. So in that regard, I'm not the biggest fan of the synthetic material, but you know, at the price point that this glove comes in, obviously there's going to be the synthetic material that's gonna be used. If it was genuine leather, the price point would be higher. So, you know, there's some give or take when it comes to that. Now, design-wise, you can see it does use this triple stripe, one thick stripe and two of the, the smaller stripe kind of design with the sandable kind of integrating to that. Not a huge fan of the way it looks. I think, I mean, it's, it's a little overdone. I mean, you have that stripe right there, then you have it on the thumb. Again, that, not, you know, some people might like the way that looks. That's subjective. Some people might hate it. I'm personally not a fan of the way of, the, of that design. One thing you also notice is that it's pre, the actual um, paint on here, the color is pre-printed before they stitch it. So you can see that it kind of, it doesn't really, the color doesn't match right up to the actual seam right here. To me, that should go all the way to the seam. But you can tell that, you can tell that they just kind of pre-print it. Rather than paint it once it's on here, obviously it's pre-printed that way. Um, you do see that it does have a grip bar, uh, a ventilated mesh palm on there. You do have a tapered Velcro strap, which goes up a little bit higher to give you a little bit more support that's a little bit higher up on your wrist. Padding around the wrist is okay. Um, I wish that there was a little bit more padding, especially right here on the inner palm uh, on both sides. The back of the wrist has about, I'd say a half inch of padding, which is really nice to have that on the back. Uh, but the inside right here, I wish it would have a little bit more padding. And then right here, you can just see how the Velcro strap opens. Um, so it's connected to this inner part right here. And then the inner liner right here is kind of the, the same polyester uh, microfiber liner that you find in some of the other gloves. It has kind of a mesh look to it. And then it has this kind of rubberized backing right here on, on the back of your wrist. But the inside, inside liner is it's just all the same material right here. This kind of this uh, microfiber mesh material that goes all the way into the hand compartment. Now quality wise, again, um, you know, for being synthetic glove, you just, that's kind of get, you get what you pay for in terms of the durability. Um, you know, the stitching on here is okay. There's some areas where you can see that the stitching was fraying um, on this inner part here. So parts like that, you can see that the stitching is kind of coming loose already. I've used these for a couple of rounds on the heavy bag, um, double end bag, and, and using these for my training. Um, you can see it does use some double stitching on the palm side right there. So that's really nice to see as well as right here. I do like the ventilated palm right here. It gives the, the, the glove some, some breathability. It does have this grip bar right here. I wish the grip bar was a little bit bigger. You can see that it, it's pretty soft and it kind of collapses under your hand. So it feels a little bit, a little bit bigger and just more harder to, to, to grip on. That'd be a little bit better. Um, I do like that it uses a, this harder, feels like an EVA foam on the back of the wrist to give you that support. The Velcro strap. Pretty nice quality, just a regular standard three inch Velcro strap on the back of the hand. Um, this uses a gel infused foam and typically what I found with a lot of these gel infused gloves is that they're typically top heavy. So and you can see here uh, with that, it is a little bit more top heavy with this glove. So I wish it was a little bit more streamlined and balanced, but because of that gel infused foam, it, it's a little bit more on the heavier side towards uh, the knuckle area. You can see where the stitching looks like pretty good where the thumb meets the index finger. Um, again, you have the nylon strap. That's pretty common to see on these budget gloves. Um, so you're not gonna get the same material that they use uh, on, the, on the actual glove itself. They use that nylon right there. So overall, pretty, pretty nice quality uh, you know, for a synthetic glove, minus uh, the little stitching issues right there. Um, another thing I wish they had on here was some ventilated holes on the thumb to give it a little bit more breathability as well as the fingertip area. Now, comfort of the gloves when you put your hands in here, they feel really good. I'm put my hand in here. The Velcro strap feels really nice. I like that it overlaps. It gives me a sense of security that I feel. That back EVA foam on the back of the wrist right here, where that hinge point is at, it doesn't allow my, my wrist to overextend that way. So I really like that, that it has that hinge point that rests on that foam right there. And the Velcro strap does a nice job of really locking in my hand. The thumb is in a really nice position. It doesn't feel awkward at all. It doesn't jam at the top. I feel like I have some pretty good flexibility. This, 
seam right here doesn't pinch down and I definitely like this mesh palm. It gives a lot of breathability inside here. I do wish that this grip bar was again thicker because I really can't feel it very much when I roll my finger over. Um, the fingertip compartment feels pretty good as well. Deep enough to where my fingers can really sink in there and get a good grip. Now the foam that they use inside here performance wise um, they just call it a gel infused foam. So whatever that means I'm not too sure but if I were to take my best guess it feels like IMF. Um, the actual shape of the glove itself you can tell by just the casing so I, I believe it's probably some kind of injected molded foam that they put like a layer of gel in there and the gel is nice in the fact that it does a really good job of absorbing shock so um, when I use this on the heavy bag man you can really land some heavy shots with this these gloves and, and really not feel the effects of the shock of the of the punch but uh, the drawback in that is that you don't get the same feedback you would with like a multi-layer or a latex foam glove to where you really hit hit the bag and you can feel your, your knuckles sink in and make contact and give you that good crack. You don't really get it with this glove. You can see that the foam is pretty stiff and, and dense, so it doesn't have a lot of give. So I would venture to say that this glove is more on the protective side rather than on the puncher's feedback side of gloves. So if you're looking for a glove, you know, in the $30 to $40 price range that you want more protection, that's comfortable, it has some breathability, um, these would be it. You can see that there's a little bit of a break-in period with these gloves. They're pretty stiff at first. Not super stiff, but enough to where I, you really can feel that I, I have to really push against it to really open my palm. So t do keep that in mind. There is going to be a break-in period, especially for this molded foam that has the gel inside. You know, using these on the bags over time, eventually this foam will start to kind of break down a little bit, and then that's when you're really going to be able to get that flexibility you want. Granted, hoping that the material, uh, this fake leather material that you use holds up for that, uh, that amount of time. So um, now cost-wise, uh, depending on where you get these from, if you get them through, through Amazon or through the Sustainable website, I've seen anywhere from $30 to $39, so $30 to $40 bucks, uh, for these gloves, uh, which is not a bad price for an entry-level glove that has good comfort. I love the thumb placement. Um, I'm not a huge fan of injected molded foam, but if you're looking for something that's protective and you want to spend $40 or less, want something that's comfortable, um, then these would be a good choice for you. Um, again, it all depends as far as the looks of the glove. That depends on if you're a fan of the way these look. These have a lot more design cues on them, you know, with the stripes and with the sandable and the 16 ounce. Um, so that's really subjective, but these are pretty good uh, entry glove, uh, level glove for what they are. So if you guys have any questions or comments, make sure you guys leave them down below in the comments box. I'll put the link in the description box where you can find these gloves. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.